As you can see we're just starting Madness of Deathwing, so you know that I've not really got around to testing Resto Druids yet. I've been doing a few bits and bobs on them but I've not made a video yet. So I've got a bit of a better idea of how they're working now. So hopefully I'll be able to give a better review on them this time round. So obviously wild growth is still pretty much I would consider it our most powerful healing spell still it's it's nearly always on the top and we are with like an insanely geared paladin so don't expect me to be topping the meters this time around because he's he's literally 20 eye levels above me this guy's 391 um yeah he's he's pretty insanely geared so we'll have to see how we do so i'm gonna get the trents out and then as soon as this bolt hits i'm gonna get a trank going and then straight after the trank I'm going to pop those triple mushrooms if they're needed no they're not needed I'll pop them anyway they they cost basically nothing so you know now now we're over here I may as well just you know get swift men down make sure everybody's getting topped off because obviously there's a bit of raid damage just going out and just because our mana is so so high then I'm just going to start well I don't want to be wasting our mana so you know just get a couple of heals going out there so we don't stay mana capped because well just got to prepare for the damage that's incoming haven't you that's a mistake I think a lot of healers do end up making they just they'll they'll be sitting there with a full mana pool and yeah there may not be much healing at all to do but if you've got a full mana pool you may as well be spending it on something you know even if it's doing like 1 2k healing per second you know heals are heals and that's what healers are here to do so in my opinion you should always be spending your mana but spend it wisely there we go the dps seems pretty damn good in this in this group because that seems to go down pretty rapid so our mana's on 90k may as well use that little proc we got there I mean obviously we get living seed as standard now so well I'm just going to chuck a regrowth out to show you how much healing it does so it does 45k healing now we've lost that buff added on to the 13k so we're looking at what 50 58k healing coming from it from a regrowth I think that's really nice I do definitely so let's get some more mushrooms out those mushrooms cost absolutely nothing to put down and they only cost 2,000 mana to pop, so they're very efficient. But your other spells are more powerful healing-wise. So I think really, when you know our gear is really low at the start of the new mop expansion, we'll be making really good use of our mushrooms simply because they're so cheap. But later on, I can actually see us not totally abandoning the mushrooms, but. You know, I don't think they'll be as good for us anymore just because we'll have enough mana probably to be able to get in out like a lot of these rejuves and everything again because again rejuvenation still it's still gonna be an extremely powerful spell so that's something we're still gonna want to be using all the time. Now I really need to get the hang of using my Scenarium Ward. Scenarium Ward, I know I've said it's tank kind of heal a lot of the time but it's really not, you know, you can use it on absolutely anybody. It's it's kind of like a rejuve, but it, it just, it's shorter and it's more of a nuky hot. It's kind of like a, a, more of a bursty hot. So, you know, it's really nice. It's, I guess in some ways, it, it's kind of Blizzard trying to give us something that's able to push out the healing straight away, as these mushrooms are. I mean... Because the the problem I've always found with Resto Druids is they they can't do the healing on demand. You know, you've got all of these hops and they're everywhere, they're doing tons and tons of healing per second. But as soon as like the bolt hits or something, unless you've got a trank or a big healing cooldown ready, 
then you can't really do anything but pop a couple of wild growths, a few rejuves out and even then they don't really do too much do they? Compared to like a, a Dispriest Spine Prayer of Healing or a Holy Paladins, Holy Radiance and Light of Dawn, it, even Shami's Chain Heal and when monks are released you know they've got things like uplift that they can spam and that'll do quite a bit of healing or a lot of healing you know so uh, I, I think that they were trying to use mushrooms to kind of still fit in with druids but again fill that kind of niche where you know we just fill the kind of niche where we've got a heal on demand and I, I think they they kind of succeeded in doing that but not fully because obviously you know when we pop them they they do the healing straight away and they they can do an awful lot of healing if you use them right but I think at the same time they've the the healings that they do is it's not enough for the, the build up time should I call it because obviously we need to get three global cooldowns off to build up those mushrooms and in those three global cooldowns you know we could do we could be using a wild growth, a swift mend and a rejuvenation and that's going to do over the duration of time that's going to do easily double the amount of healing than a triple shroom pop will do but mushrooms they're, they're a lot cheaper on the mana so I think we've just got to really get used to the fact that we've got to be it's it's more of a mana management kind of thing you know when we've got the mana to be using we can be burning out all of those hops when there's downtime or you know we're struggling for mana a bit then we're going to want to be using those mushrooms just for the extra efficiency and at the end of the day if if you do pop them look just then they did 100k overhealing and, and 38k healing. If I did that with like a spell on my pally, I'd be like, oh shit, that that's that's crap. I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna do that again at that point. But with these mushrooms, again, 50k healing, 100k overhealing. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's 2,000 mana. So they have their good points and they have their bad points. All in all, I'm I'm not really liking mushrooms that much. I think they should they should really just be, you know, the the role I think they were trying to fill is that burst state, and they haven't filled it. I'd rather it if they were just a hot that was a bit more powerful, and you know, it it stacked to everybody on the raid. I'd I'd much prefer it to be that because they do seem really really shit. They do actually do their, their shit. Okay. Um, the only reason I'm really using them as I said is because they're fucking cheap and shit. So, yeah. And somebody's not got my buff on. There you go. So let's get a couple more rejuves going out and I'll get my um, little force of natures out again there. They're quite nice, they are. Um, I do I do still like the tree of life. If, if people are wondering, oh, tree of life shit now because these have come along. It's not really, I think um, it's definitely still a viable option. Oh my god, somebody absorbed a shitload of heal in there. Damage rather. I don't actually like it when people do that in LFR because it's piss easy enough anyway. So when people start to do that, it makes it boring. So if you are watching this video and you're one of those people that pop tons of cooldowns in LFR, please don't. God, please don't. It makes it so boring. So let's get some more mushrooms down over here. Our trank is ready again so we can use that in a moment. Let's get a wild growth out. And all we're doing is overhealing. Are we gonna get anything pop up? Yep, we've got those pop up. So let's get one of these swift men's down. Uh, I'll get a snaring ward over on that tank and triple shroom pop. There we go. Oh look. Get them trees again. Got four trees out now, myself and three others. That's all good. That is. Never thought of it like that. You can get four trees at the same time. Wow. So I'm I'm not going to use my trank on this first one. I'm going to save it for the second. Okay. 
This group's really, really shit. I'm going to use it now. Yeah, there's the second set. This group's really, really shit, as I just said. I don't know. Oh my god, wow. Bloody hell. Shamans are defacing right now. With the amount of mastery they are getting. Oh god. Oh. Holy shit. Let's get some rejuves going everywhere. Rejuve, rejuve, rejuve. And that was probably doing a lot of healing there. But as you can see, as I was saying earlier, if you look at my mana now, that is what happens from spamming rejuve. So, people that were commenting saying, oh, you want to spam rejuve more? No, I shouldn't because I run oom. Bottom line is, you run oom and I've got 4,000 spirit. And 4,000 spirit is a lot. And I have actually equipped my Reflection of the Light and Heart of Unliving because I now consider spirit and intellect to be pretty much balanced stats for well pretty much every single healing class really on my paladin I've, I've gone and taken some intellect out to, re to replace it for some spirit um, well same with every class really because I've gone and got that um, what we call reflection of the light and I think as long as you're keeping it on cooldown then it's it's not even too bad on the spell power. It doesn't really nerf you too well because you got that. You know they're good. Um, it's very bursty, very bursty indeed. I quite like that. So what I've done is I've just gone and macroed it in with my wild growth, and these tanks are gonna die. Well, one of them is because they're shit. Yep, one's dead. But yeah, as you can see, I've got them work. Uh, macroed it in with my wild growth and I think that's really good because obviously it's on cooldown all the time because my wild growth is pretty much always on cooldown let's come back rest one of these you're a good one you've one shit I'm not resing him let's get some shroomies down you better accept my bloody combat res there we go good thank, thank the lord let's get one of these thingies down there we go, lovely. Our mana's getting really bloody low now. Let's get one of those out. Let's get triple shroom down. Oh, thingy majiggy on me. Shrapnel. God. Let's get a um a, a floor thingy down, a swift mend. There we go. Let's get some more force of nature's out. The DPS is shockingly shit. Let's get some more rejuves everywhere, actually we don't have the mana, I'm just going to have to pop some of those things on it. Oh, Trank's ready. Let's get a Trank rocking and rolling. Lovely, hopefully this thing will die. Die bitch, die. Come on, don't you die. Not you, shit. That's not good. Come on. Come on. Come on Deathwing, die, please. Come on, don't don't let me die. Where's my bear form? Bear form, whoop whoop. Oh, and now I'm dead. But as you can see, that's pretty much what I'm thinking of droids at the moment. I did only do 30k HPS, yes. Um, I have done this LFR a couple of times in this character. And the times before now, I got 38 and 35k HPS. The only real like, reason I didn't get high that high this time is because of this stupid motherfucker here. This pally that's rolling around in like 410 eye level. So, thanks for ruining my video, but there we go. I think Resto Druids are pretty decent overall. I think Shrooms need a buff. And they've not really achieved what they were trying to. But, all in all, I would say Resto Druids are okay. But I can't really see any reason why you'd pick them over any other healer for any raid composition, to be honest. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you soon.